everyone and welcome to TLDR, the show that explains all the great things you might not have already read about. I'm Tegan and I'm your host. Today we are going to be discussing Victor Vran. But before we can become Victor, hunter of demons, here are a few things that you need to know. Victor Vran is an action RPG where your skill is just as essential as your character build and gear. You play as Victor, hunter of demons, on a quest to liberate the cursed city of Zagoravia. Slaying demons does not have to be a lonely affair. Victor Vran can be played with friends both locally and online, meaning you can explore the story of the dark world together in a full co-op experience. There is extensive character development in Victor Vran. You can decide how to play the game, forge your own personal version of Victor thanks to a vast array of powerful weapons, game-changing outfits, wicked demon powers and destiny cards. In the base game there are 8 different weapon types, each with its own basic attack and 2 associated skills, as well as its own animation, attack speed and range. Destiny cards provide passive attributes for your character, which will take up a destiny slot. The number of destiny slots a player can have is determined by their level. Demon powers can be used once you've reached maximum overdrive, which is built up depending on the player's outfit, a specific type of equipment which will largely determine how the player gains overdrive. It also changes the player's visual appearance, gains basic armor, and provides certain passive attributes. There are a total of 8 outfits in the base game, but during the introduction, players can choose between 3 outfits, the Hunter's outfit, the Cavalier's outfit, and the Vigilante's outfit. Items are both randomly generated and can be handcrafted. Every item can be perfected using transmutation. There is a huge variety of monsters and monster behavior within Victor Vran. Experience intense combat action with dozens of enemies attacking you from all sides and unleash powerful skills to finish them off. There are three difficulty levels, casual, normal and hard mode. There is also an option to create a hardcore character. In the normal mode, players can add hexes to complete certain challenges, but doing this will make the game harder, so be careful. However, in hard mode, hexes are turned on permanently, making for some extremely challenging gameplay. The game world is divided into large areas, representing districts and the surroundings of the city of Zagoravia. Each area has five specific challenges, which grant various rewards upon completion. The Victor Vran Overkill Edition features the fully updated and award-winning action RPG Victor Vran, as well as the expansive Fractured Worlds and the legendary Motorhead Through the Ages, which includes all new locations, demon powers, outfits, and weapons. While I think that's everything you need to know about Victor Vran, I do have one more thing that I would like to announce. You can celebrate Victor Vran, Lemmy and Motorhead and Doug Cockle in its kick-ass ARPG experience with the very first Black Label edition. Black Label is a celebration of art, music and of course, the game. You can register your interest in our store right now and with only 2,500 being made for Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4 platforms, they are going to be snapped up quick, so move fast. Now, are you ready to slay some demons? Let's jump into the game, and we will do just that. Zagoravia, the fallen city, the land of no return, where darkness won and we demon hunters lost. One year ago, a plea for help summoned hunters to Zagoravia. Many answered the call. No one returned. I thought Adrian dead, until a raven delivered his message. He too summoned me to Zagoravia. He saw what I seek. Adrian is a friend, one of the precious few I have, and the only man who knows of my past, of the pact I made, and the demon powers I wield. Whatever harm 
haunts this cursed city. I will face to find my friend. All right, so we are into the game. The city is eerily quiet. Not a human soul in sight. It is eerily empty, and now we've come across our first set of enemies, which are spiders, which the spiders Monsters. are quite consistently Monsters. appearing Game throughout this game. Dusty windows. I wonder what horrors hide behind them. But at the moment they're quite weak, luckily. in the introduction for this game uh the basics of it at the moment press x to attack but you also have different abilities depending on your weapon itself so i also could use y for heavy. stronger attacks and b as well but something with y and b attacks like the they will take a, they will have a bit of a cooldown so you have to be you have to use them carefully, use them smartly. But X doesn't have a group, so you're good with that one. Press A to jump. So you can jump against walls in this, and it will get you to higher places. Which is always useful, it's always nice. So we can do it to get up here. Hello. Hello. Who goes there? Hello? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Voice in my head? What else? <laughs> if you can hear me, jump now. Good boy. Now roll over. <laughs> Just kidding. Maybe we just heard there. It's a bit of a boxes. mystery. You never know what you're going to get. So exciting. He's kind of like the narrator in this game. Okay, so we just found a new weapon. So if we go to our inventory, we now have the dancing shotgun, which is a bit more powerful than our sword. Or it could be more powerful than our sword. We get to use it. Now, as we can see, we have different abilities according to that ranged abilities as well, which is always useful, especially in that situation. So I actually, usually in these sorts of games, I prefer, I think I prefer ranged weapons generally speaking, but for some reason in Victor Vran, I really love the hammer weapon. And if you've seen Wildlife at all, you would You're know that closer. I love the Howl weapon. On, open that door. Oh, watch out, Hunter. Those dummies look tough. They outnumber you. You should consider retreating. <laughs> so the yellow bar next to your help is called the Overdrive. Attack the dummies, dummies to build up the Overdrive. Noses. They're laughing at your feet. It'll take a little while to do it to build up your overdrive, but not too long. You can do it super quickly like this. There we go. And Wait, now, are you still fighting the dummies? Come on, put your yes, back I am. Into Sorry, it. voice. And now we can use the overdrive ability. A demon power. Just a demon power. Where did you learn to do that? Hmm. Anyway. I'm trapped in that box. Come on, break it. Wait, that's not me. Oh well, I must be in another dungeon. <laughs> Perhaps we can't trust his voice. <laughs> but they are quite funny. I always love in video games when you have a sort of funny narrator voice. You're not sure whether you really trust them or not. They're entertaining, so it's okay. a bit bad for attacking the dummies. 
There we go. Now we've got our reward. We can test a new shotgun. So let's switch to the new shotgun. Just actually a little less powerful than the one we found, but we'll try it. There we go. And now, for the sake of having the stronger weapon, I'm going to switch back to the stronger weapon. Of course. But the minute I find a hammer, you wait. Just you wait. I don't know what we're waiting for, just I me having a hammer, I guess. Nearby. Let me give you a hint. It's bigger than a spider, but it is also full of treasure. And it hmm. is sitting on top, looking down at you. Interesting, interesting. Nice hint, thank you. There we go. Now... Let's go find whatever this shiny thing is that the narrator is hinting at. We also still have a few spiders running after us, so we'll have to be a little bit careful. Yes, you found it. Good hey, boy. we found some money. What did you get? Something shiny. It was quite shiny. Oh, the spiders are running. I didn't have to be too careful. There's something about that voice, something I can't quite place. I've fought and slain many monsters in my line of work. The ones that talk are always the worst. Victor isn't very social with his enemies. Understandably, actually. <laughs> so now we get to decide on our class. So it's done by outfit, but we can choose Vigilante. Cavalier or Hunter. So Hunter's the classic, that's the classic Victor that we see on the key art. But my personal favourite, I like the look of the Vigilante's outfit. Mostly because I just really like the hat, which I totally think is an understandable reason for choosing a class. Maybe it isn't, maybe a lot of people would disagree with me, but that's just my personal opinion. But this outfit is if I want to create a specialized build focused on precision and critical strikes. The Vigilante's outfit grants overdrive only when you score critical hits against your enemies. The armor provided by the outfit will reduce the damage of some attacks that you suffer. And for the others, the Cavalier is the outfit if you favor playing a caster hero. Uh, the Cavalier's outfit grants overdrive automatically over time, but your weapons and attacks will not generate overdrive. But it will allow you to use your demon powers reliably and start encounters at full overdrive. And the Hunter's outfit is if you favour the balanced playstyle, or you like to be at your strongest in dire circumstances. The Hunter's outfit grants additional overdrive when you suffer damage, which allows you to use your demon powers more often in tough encounters. It offers a balanced playstyle and will serve you well in every situation. But as I said, I like the Vigilante's outfit. And I also usually use a hammer, which I tend to put crit strike power-ups on, so it works quite well for me. And I'm just going to select the normal difficulty mode, just because we want the standard game difficulty, which is strongly recommended for the first game. Obviously, this isn't my first time playing, but I don't know, hard mode seems daunting at the moment. Oh, and then you get the option of a normal character or a hardcore character. So hardcore characters become normal characters when they die for the first time. They do not share their private stash with normal characters. So normal characters suffer no penalties when they die. So, confirm new settings, you have selected Vigilante's outfit in normal mode, are you sure you want to continue? Yes. And the cool thing about this game is that it's got so much replayability, because obviously I'm playing now with a Vigilante's outfit on normal mode, but I could choose to play with the Hunter's outfit on hard mode or casual mode, and I'd get a different game experience, so there are survivors that's pretty cool. After all this, time. Come to Zagoravia, Hunter. this is the Queen. Thank you for answering our summons and bringing your sword to our cause. Soon we will push back the enemy. If you hurry, you will be rewarded. Thank you. Your Majesty, 
I would gladly see you to safety. It is not safety that we want. We are going to win this war and free my kingdom from the demons. No further help is coming, Your Majesty. What brought me here is the fate of a fellow hunter by the name of Adrian. You may believe no help is coming and have given up, but we stand strong. But if it is your friend you seek, you must go south, to the royal gardens. Thank you, Your Majesty. The Queen is strong-willed. It must be how she got this far, but it changes nothing. The city is overrun. Now we can open a map and travel to the royal gardens. So this is the map of the game. Obviously we can't travel to all of their locations quite yet. But if we start with the Royal Gardens, we can see that there are three secrets to unlock. And each map has up to five stars. So you have sort of five, I want to call them sort of objectives or missions. So we'll enter and we'll try and do that today. I'm back. Did Hello, voice. <laughs> I know you missed me. I missed you. Don't worry, voice. Now that I think about it, we weren't properly introduced. You can call me Voice. Thank you, Voice. Without a body. So, oh. This seems to fit. That makes sense. Is but a voice. So at the moment, I'm kind of struggling with two spiders' nests, which mean that these spiders will just keep spawning until. I can stop it. But that also means I have a lot of spiders attacking me right now. There we go. We destroyed one spider's nest. Thereby reducing the spiders by just a little bit. I have to be careful because my health is getting affected by this. Okay. Okay. Ooh, this place a little spiders. Alright, got them. Whew. That was only light stressful. I thought they were be going to become overpowering at some point there. And the cool thing about the map is it tells you exactly where you've in, so you know, unless you need to, you don't need to retrace your steps. I find that quite a useful thing. It's so satisfying when you get a huge group all at the same time. Oh, and now I have my overdrive ability, so let's use that. Okay, well I missed, so don't use it like that. That, that was poorly timed. Oh gosh, there are so many. I feel like I'm in danger, but... Oh no! <laughs> I very much missed my ability again. I need to get better at that. Okay, is this one down? Okay, we got one down. One nest down anyway. And now we need to find wherever these blue spiders are coming from. Just over there. Okay. I found you. I will destroy you. Amazing. I did it. I think the annoying thing about these blue spiders is the fact that they have the ranged ability, so I can't specific- well, I can run from them, but even so they can still hit me. Okay. Just about got there. Just about got there. Ooh, there's a giant spider over there. Let's try and hit that. Yay! <laughs> I used my demon powers and they worked! Good for me. Ooh, so... We just leveled up there. And once the spider is no longer running after me, I will be able to level up. So now we're level 2. And upon level 2, we can now equip destiny cards which grant various passive abilities and each destiny card requires destiny points and a free destiny card slot the slots and points will increase as you level up so 
now we get to choose a destiny card but it won't always be a destiny card every time you level up so you can choose your reward generally in addition to your new ability you will gain a bonus item on each level as it says so which one should i pick but hope which gives more health the warrior which gives us plus five percent melee damage and strength which does a plus six percent critical chance as we know from the class we're playing the better critical chance the more likely we are to get overdrive so i'm going to select that because it should work nicely with it let's go towards the left hand side as there is an essence of frost here which i'm going to assume there is more essence of frosts around in this area but i'll watch out for those here is the chessboard. Ah, so is this the chess master? Yes, this is the chess master. So this is one of the objectives for this level. So this is, I would assume, kind of a boss. Whoa, that was satisfying. Now we can use our demon ability, so let's use it correctly. Oh, it works. I think that works. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Practice makes perfect, as they say. One last ability. And... Oh, go on. There we go. Who won? And we unlocked a hammer. Wait, that looked like a hammer, not a... Did we unlock a hammer? We unlocked a hammer! This is good news, everyone. So now that we have a hammer, which is a very powerful hammer, actually, more powerful than any of the other weapons, so it's totally justified in me using it. This hammer in particular actually has a critical damage increase by 65%, and you gain health on overkill. So naturally, naturally, we have to equip it. There we go. Look how strong and powerful it is. I love it. I love it when you find a good weapon in this game that you just really get along with. Ooh. I got electrocuted a little bit there. I'm Look, gonna have to be careful. Amazed. That looks fun. Let's go there. Okay, let's explore the maze. I don't know how fun it looks. I'm seeing a lot of spiders. That's not, that's not my idea of fun. It's someone's idea of fun, so I guess we'll do it. And as we can see again, can with a new weapon. Your way out? <laughs> the new weapon, uh, we have new abilities again. Uh, getting hit a lot. Hey, that's cheating. No oh, I'm jumping. sorry. I'm sorry for jumping, but there's also not a way out of this without jumping, so I don't know what you want me to do. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, game. Stop. Sorry. Sorry, voice. Sorry, everyone. Oh, it's so quick to destroy everything. Oh, gosh, I'm in danger. Oh, <laughs> I just love this weapon. Would highly recommend the hammer if people haven't tried it out in this game before. It's so much fun. Yeah, I've got to use my overdrive ability now. There's a lot of spiders coming my way. And we've leveled up again, but I'm in the middle of fighting, so I will wait just a second. Destroy some of these spiders. So another cool thing in this game, as you level up, sometimes you'll come across gift boxes which contain a random piece of equipment. So you combine them with other gift boxes in transmutation to get better items. So I tend to collect these because I just like the idea of getting a really good weapon eventually, but also the rogue 20% plus crit damage is also very appealing. So this time I'm going to get that. Ooh. So we completed Slay All Spider Nests in the Labyrinth. We did it, and we leveled up at the same time, which is lovely. And I think that's the 
think I I think I managed to complete the labyrinth. I don't know. I think I kind of cheated on that labyrinth, really, but I'll count. I'll count that. I'll, I'll take that as a win. Thank you for the gold. Hey, and I slayed all the spider eggs. I'm doing well. I would say I'm doing well. Ooh, we've just found somebody. Hello. And here I thought I was the last Irene. in this damn city. No, I'm here too. Victor Vran just arrived. Don't plan on staying long. <laughs> That's what I said when I arrived a year ago. Yet, here I am, still killing demons and trying to make sense of what happened. Do you know a hunter by the name of Adrian? I've heard of him, but we never crossed paths. The only hunters I've seen recently lie lifeless. Oh. You could check the crypts. I haven't been down there for a while. But I wouldn't get my hopes up. There are demons everywhere. Thank you. I didn't catch your name. Because I didn't say it. <laughs> my name is Irene. This Get game is funny. <laughs> it makes me giggle. Trying Hello, to make Irene. Sense of what happened. Hmm. She has another reason to stay here this long. I'm certain. Now we have come across skeletons, which is a new enemy type. Actually, I think we have come across skeletons before, but we've seen a lot of spiders recently. Irene paints a bleak picture. Zagoravia is lost. Luckily. Adrian's They're no match hunter, for my but can he survive this place? Ooh. And why would he keep fighting for a lost cause? Hello, forgotten king. How are you doing? Ah. You can now equip a second weapon of your choice. In combat, you can switch freely between your first and second weapon. Choose your reward. So now we've got the choice of a hammer, a vicious shotgun, or a spider slayer scythe. Scythes are quite fun, but I just kind of want a hammer. So we found our first sort of, I want to call it a dungeon. And we are going to, I'm going to show you what you have to do in these. So you get sort of like, like the main level, I suppose you get. A total of five stars to try and complete and every dungeon will have a different set of objectives the smell hits you right away not the stale dry smell of a tomb no this is another all too familiar smell the smell of rotting flesh Ooh, that's not nice let's get these guys without taking damage. Uh. <laughs> I see something running after me and it's immediately terrifying. But I also need to kill some skeletons with overkill, so I kinda wanna get a group a of body. them near me. Could that be Adrian? Okay, we did it. Sweet. Now we just wanna We took damage from an attack challenge failed. Ah. Uh, see, it's difficult. It's very difficult. Oh, we found a new hammer. A dancing hammer. Nice. I will cleanse this tomb so you can rest in peace, brother. The death of a hunter is like the death of a brother or sister. I didn't we need to use that ability to do that, but I did. And lives of those Who's here used? to stop me? Slay Monsters of Hammer completed. And we get lots of gold for that. Lots of lovely gold. Ugh. Okay, I took damage. That is sad again. I think I've already lost that one, though. That's okay. Ah, you keep running away from me. Ah, and we got the burial ones. Okay, we've done pretty well, despite the fact that we took damage early on. I think that's a really hard quest for me. I'm just not very good at dodging. Quite difficult. Oh, 
Okay, let's round up a few of these skeletons because we need to use the... Oh, I've not quite got it yet. There we go. Now I need to use my demon hunter abilities on them. I used it way too far away. No! <laughs> what a waste! What a shame. Well, I tried. I tried to get that one. I'm just very good at aiming, to be honest. How are you doing? Oh, thank the gods, you came to save me. I was I was on patrol with some of the hunters to carry their provisions and, and trophies. We were attacked, and I, I made a, uh, a tactical retreat. Interesting. You just ran and left the hunters to die. Well, you, you see, I, I, I'm I, I'm a coward, and that has kept me alive. At least it, he's you know, honest. I, I was sure that someone would come along to rescue me. So so the coast is is clear. Can, can I get back home? Even a coward's life will feed the evil brewing here. I've cleared the way to the castle. You can go. Oh, thank you. I promise I'll find a way to repay you. Thank you. Okay, so in that one, we can really try it again. But we did manage to get three out of five stars. But I think that's just about everything I can show you for today in this TLDR. Obviously, you very much need to play this game for yourself. It is so much fun. Thank you so much for watching this TLDR of Victor Vran. I hope that you feel informed. Victor Vran is a super fun game with plenty of action and dynamic combat for you to enjoy. You can test out different classes, play with your friends, and become the ultimate demon hunter. So why not check it out for yourself? Victor Fran is available on PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. All the links are in the description below. But I think that's just about everything from me today. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Again, the links are all in the description below. But I think that's just about everything from me today. I'll see you next week for the next episode of TLDR. Goodbye, everyone.